Hello, this is Dean, and welcome to this video on how to regrip golf clubs. Today we're shooting the intro from beautiful Pilot Mountain State Park. So welcome. Recently, my wife took an interest in wanting to get involved in playing golf. Uh, this can be an expensive sport, but we managed to run across a set of inexpensive golf clubs off Craigslist. Unfortunately, they had slick grips, but this is not a game changer. You don't have to go to a golf pro to get this done. I'm going to show you today how to do it inexpensively and quickly. So let's get after it. We're beginning this project by ordering our new grips off of eBay. And I placed a separate order for double-sided tape, glue activator spray, and this small rubberized shaft protector that goes around the shaft of each club as you place it in the vise. Now be very careful when you're tightening the vise not to over tighten and this is especially true with graphite shafts. I also had the option to order a special cutter tool for about $8 that had a hook on the end of it, but we chose to just use a plain box cutter and just limit the amount that the tip emerges from the end. As we begin the cut, we're cutting at an angle, not directly down into the shaft so we don't scar the steel. And once again, this is especially important if you're using graphite shafts. Now we begin the process of merely peeling off the old grip and the associated tape that's on the very end of the club. I grabbed a bottle of this glue and sticker removal that we got at a big box store decided to give it a try. Applied it to a cotton swab and as you can see from the smiles it worked just fine. Then we used some wet wipes to clean up any remaining residue and dried this off or you can let it air dry. Next we pulled one of our new grips out of the bag and laid it on top of the shaft just to check the measurements of it against our double-sided tape. Now here's the additional kit that we ordered. The instructions call for us to peel off one side of the tape, apply it to the shaft with a quarter inch overhang, and then remove the back side of the tape. What I found in beginning to wrap the shaft here was the tape is long enough to where it will work on much thicker shafts. So as you can see here, what I ended up doing was not pressing the tape, the top of the tape down onto itself, but allowing this flap to stick up so that when I removed this outer edge of the tape, I could now wrap it around itself. Don't forget to tuck in the quarter inch at the end of the shaft. This assists with the new cover going on and also protects it from the raw edge of the shaft. Next we use the spray activator that came with the kit. They recommend spraying a little bit on the inside of the grip and also obviously on the double sided tape. Now here's a little secret if you don't want to order this spray Mineral spirits work just fine. I've used them in the past. The principle is exactly the same. It wets down the double-sided tape, makes it a little bit slick there as you can see. But once it's all sprayed down, you can press it right up on the end of the shaft and I use the butt end of the new cover to help me out and also look down the shaft to align it. We basically unclamp it, pull off the rubber protector and sight our way from the grip down the edge of the shaft to the end of the club. Make sure you got it. You can make some micro adjustments at this point. Okay, in case you missed any steps, I'm going to show you the process one more time from A to Z, this time with a different camera angle from overhead.
Well, we're all done with our 12 grip reinstalls for three metal woods and the rest were irons. Real time, it took us about an hour and a half. Um, obviously longer because we had to set up for uh, camera angles and shots. We did not recover the putter grip because those of you who play golf know that the putter grip is different. It's thicker than all the others and quite frankly, this one doesn't need a replacement. It's not like you're going to drive the ball across the green uh, with the putter. So we'll probably keep the original grip on the putter. This is a job that uh, all you can do at home, any novice can do. It's easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed watching video. I hope you subscribe to our channel. And I hope to see you again next time. Hello and welcome to our video today from high atop Pilot Mountain State Park. Beautiful. You know, so many times uh, golf is viewed as uh, kind of an aloof sport. Um, go. It's so, so very easy. But, so let's get on it. Rather than buy an expensive set of gloves and gloves. Hello, this is Dean and thank you so much for joining my video today from high atop Pilot Mountain State Park. You know, so often is the case we swap out these grips and do a professional job. So let's get out. But I'm going to show you today how to inexpensively and quickly replace those clip, clips. And I'm going to show you today how to repress. Hello, this is Dean and welcome to my video.